Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Today we're looking at the Retivus RT3S. So let's have a look what uh, you get in the box. Got something in Chinese. We got a manual. Empty pouch. Uh, this is a programming cable. A leather pouch, which is good, and a strap. Uh, this is a earpiece. We got a hand mic which uh, on the 3S, it does have the two uh, connectors for the mic and the headset. We'll have a look at that a bit later. Here's the radio itself. And we've got a charging block, a strap, a belt clip, and a power cable. Uh, I did order a smaller antenna and the standard antenna. So I'll just get rid of the box there for a moment. And we'll have a look at some of these things. So first of all, this is the radio itself. It's quite small. Um, if I put it on the measurement here, it's about uh, 13 centimetres by about 5 centimetres. So... That's the uh, RT3S, which has the GPS in it. Uh, at the, this time, during Chinese New Year, that's on special. Uh, and uh, I got it for about, I think it was 90 Australian dollars, which would be a lot cheaper in US dollars. So there's the radio with the antenna on and let's have a look at this stubby antenna uh, it's labeled retivus antenna and we'll do some tests with the antenna and see what that is but it's quite significantly uh, smaller it's at least two and a half times smaller than the standard one same uh, connection uh, it's not a waterproof rating, so I think it might be splash proof, but not waterproof. There's no O-rings in there. And if I take the battery off, there's no O-ring on the battery itself. So this is a UHF, VHF radio, analog and digital. So that's quite a nice size. Uh, so with the belt pack, it will where's the belt pack connector uh, and was here somewhere here it is so I'll screw that on and then that'll be a nice clip on there uh, let's have a look at the drop-in charger uh, it's got some supports there for uh, locking it in two holes there so that's not too bad let's have a look yep that's uh, nice and firm that fits in really well um so there's no moving around it's not going to fall out uh which is good let's have a look at this uh, factory pouch uh does look leatherette don't think it's no it's not leather but uh that's okay. I do like pouches because um, they do protect the radio from any drops and uh, can save yourself a fortune. I mean, these are cheap radios, but uh, still uh, keeps the radio in uh, good condition. Uh, let's have a look. It's going to be quite a tight fit. Hopefully it is this, the right pouch for this radio. Oh yeah, it is. So... Yeah, it's quite a tight fit. I don't. Ah, oh, you'd have to take the <laughs> the volume control off. Didn't realise that. 
and oh no, it'll go over the top. Uh, and it still has a slot for the belt pack uh, on the back there. And then the mic. It's not a locking mic, but um, it uh, it will do the job. So it's going to be a nice tight fit. So just has the the dual connector there, a right angle connector, which is quite nice. Uh, I don't think they think about these when they design them because it uh, sticks out and that will probably fall off after time. Uh, the microphone does have a 3.5 mil connection on the bottom there so you can plug an earpiece into it. initially gave me a pop-up saying uh, send this message to Red of Us and we'll uh, get back to you but that was simply because I was trying to use my Mac and Safari to try and download the file but as soon as I went to the Red of Us software and downloaded it using Google Chrome there was no problem at all I still haven't done anything with the firmware because I'm not sure whether I've got the latest firmware or whether this firmware here is uh, is newer it does say that I do have uh, when I download the initial blank profile that I have version 3 so it does look like there is another one, 304. Uh, but th at least to start with, the first thing I want to do is is get the the software uh, and then put a code plug in, test it out, and then uh, the firmware update, I believe, fixes some GPS problems, but using the GPS on an amateur network isn't uh, going to work anyway or isn't advisable um, it's more for commercial stuff and there's no APRS analog so it doesn't actually make any sense to uh, download the um, the site uh, other GPS uh, stuff uh, so it's simply redivis.com and then you go to digital radios and select the radio that you've got in this case, I've got the RTS RT3S, and then it's a matter of going to the support page, and then from there you'll find the software. And yeah, like I say, if you're using Google Chrome, no problem, you can download it. But if you're using uh, Mac with Safari, it uh, doesn't want to load or doesn't want to download. 